Looking out the window, ectoplasm tried to get rid of a feeling in his chest that was heavy as a car. The pain had gotten worse for an unknown reason. Ectoplasm could not explain ever since the injury. Not able to remember a face, only the sharp teeth, also the sound that could stun you in an instant. Ectoplasm kept looking for the villain with a quirk or face that would be a match or any information. On the verge of sleep, that was when Ectoplasm had gotten a call to report to the police station by Snipe, another pro hero. From the information given, three pro heroes had been taken out by one villain near the beach. That was when Ectoplasm seen a piece of metal from a tracker that was for certain villains of higher family ranking. The symbol on the tracker bracelet was of the black shark, the Megalodon family crest. Knowing the Megalodon family was part of the report made things more complicated. Not any hero could go to their home. Then Ectoplasm remembered Gang Orca's partner, Rain Shark, the only hero to have good relations with the Megalodon family. So the next day, Ectoplasm went to visit Rain Shark. What is the possibility of visiting the estate, Rain Shark? I can make it possible, Ectoplasm. It's just, I need a reason. It's for an investigation, Rain Shark. Just this once, Ectoplasm, you have permission to go to the estate. At the Megalodon estate, you were summoned by your grandfather to the family room where all the family portraits were hung. Waiting patiently in the room, there was one portrait that always calmed the bloodlust of the Megalodon in your mind and soul. The only family portrait of your mother and Gigantomachia when you were still a kid. How your mother and Gigantomachia met was an interesting way. At the time, it was said there was one hero who almost succeeded in taking down Gigantomachia himself. The hero that almost took Gigantomachia's life was the guardian who protected the owners of One for All, but your mother saved Gigantomachia, the one that served All for One, had only seen kindness like this once from a distance. At one time, able to see this kindness for himself was a feeling that Gigantomachia thought was only for all for one. After your mother gave up her quirk, she never left Gigantomachia's side. Then after a few years, they married and had you. To know that they loved you was all you needed, even though you rarely seen them because of the heroes. Even an old shark like me can summon you. Of course, grandfather. You are the elder of the family. For now. Then you will be one day. I think they would be happy for you. Being a villain, that would be like all for one. You knew Gigantomachia would be proud of you. And so would your mother. From your grandfather's tone, you could smell the worry in the air. And to you, that was never possible. To you, seeing the most feared Megalodon in the whole city, or the waters reduced to this, something was wrong. Only, tell me what to do, Grandfather. It will be done. The hero will be here tomorrow. Be cautious, especially with this one. Grandfather, I'm sure he's no. Before you could say anything, your grandfather stunned you with a megalodon roar. Holding your hands over your ears did not help, 
as he kneeled in front of the table near the window. Still, too stunned to move, all you could do was listen to your grandfather. This is the same hero you injured a week ago when it rained for the ceremony. Hearing your grandfather's words, that was when you remembered the hero very faintly. The only way you could be recognized would be your sharp teeth and the megalodon roar wave. From your memory, at least, you didn't reveal your face. Calm now and more aware of the situation that was present to you. Now you knew what to do. Composing yourself standing up, then looking at your grandfather with the eyes of a megalodon leader. I understand my place, grandfather. No need to worry. Leaving the room, then to the pool for a swim, and to be the shark that you've seen in the water looking back at you. The sounds of the water, and then jumping in the pool, still wearing your black suit, feeling your body change into a megalodon. Being in this form was more comfortable. Then again, your black spiky long hair, and seeing your mother's beautiful pink purple eyes as a human. The last time your mother and Gigantomachia had seen you, the both of them had said you were handsome and breathtaking than they thought. Gigantomachia was happy that you had your mother's eyes and quirk, also that you were strong as a megalodon and human. The next night, as expected, Ectoplasm was waiting to see you, as your grandfather had said. How can I help you, Ectoplasm? I need to know your location as of two nights ago. To be honest, Ectoplasm, I'm not sure. It's a haze. Ectoplasm could only see your eyes. The rest of your face was covered with a face mask. To Ectoplasm, this felt like the second time the both of you had met. But why did this feel so normal? 